Logging. Does this goo taste like French toast? I didn't get any lunch. It's like I'm super hungry. I gotta go run. Gotta run intervals. So I had a stinger waffle before I left. And I'm gonna have this now. Do my warm up. Kind of. It's like the thickest maple syrup and brown sugar you've ever tasted. And actually, you know what? It tastes like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Nice. If it were as thick as motor oil. Okay. So, time for some intervales. In my, I decided at work, 1400s. I was going to do a reveal, but you can't see anything in here anyways. Where are you, 1400s? With you. sugar in the system and no fiber or protein. That will be lovely. Are you still boiling? Yes. Did you buy any more beer? No. Oh. <coughs> <coughs> That's the sound of some hard fucking intervals. So, Telling the story backwards, I was also locked out. Because in my excitement, I took the wrong key with me. I was really excited to get out there and, and run this, because the prescribed intervals was three five minute intervals with three minutes rest. And then three two minute intervals with one minute's rest. And I thought, that's a lot of opportunities to try the 46th Avenue climb. Uh, so I kind of rushed through my warm-up and banged out uh, one, my first attempt. Um, definitely hot off the line. Probably, um, probably PR'd the climb as well as my kilometer um, and I gotta remember to edit all these for shoes so that first one uh, look at I almost quit after the first one because I had gone just full sand my mouth tasted like blood my chest hurt I thought I was gonna start coughing out blood uh, maybe even and like during the run, I was just freezing cold. I was just giving it, and I had a great attempt. Uh, and then my legs fucking hurt. My The spice on my knee went big, and my shin splints, like not even shin splints, but like the, the tibial pain, because now, now it is just muscle fatigue. It's not like straight up shin splint pain anymore. It's just I can feel that it's just tight muscles. Like I've done, like I've put in a good workout. But my legs felt jacked up, and jogging in the 1400s doesn't feel great. Jogging never feels great. Um, and I was thinking about it. I do a lot of downhill running because I do 46th Avenue all the time, and like. I typically start my runs by going down the longer section of 46th Ave, and then it's all hills and whatnot, and I end my runs by going down the steeper, shorter um, 46th Ave. So I do a lot of downhill, which is hard on the knees. Anyway, I got... Uh, I thought I would have time to jog back like, you know, if I'm running hard for five minutes, 
I don't know why I thought I'd be able to jog back in three, but I decided on the fly to just do full recovery. So I ran the hill, I ran the five minutes, and I jogged back, probably took another five or maybe even six minutes. Because it is downhill as opposed to uphill. Then I did it again, and then I was just so excited to get into the two minute intervals because the first place uh, overall ever all time world champ of the 46th Avenue climb is two minutes and four seconds. So I was excited to try two minute intervals and see where I got in two minutes. So I did one two minute interval and forgot to start my timer because I was so, forgot to start Strava because I was so preoccupied with the interval timer and the music excision. I listened to neck brace and throwing elbows over and over and over again. Um. <coughs> but I was quite relieved at the end of the two minute interval I feel like I still had some power left like I hadn't gone full full send because I, I didn't convince myself it was going to be over sooner my body was still in the mentality of doing the whole hill the five minutes so I finished with some power left not a ton and I definitely was like freezing cold again but I recovered really quickly, got back down the hill, gave it again, uh, didn't do better the second time. Uh, but, it is, but it is recorded, and it's called Two Minute Sprint. And I thought, you know, like my legs feel okay again, because they would feel good during the interval, because I would just go numb. Like I just couldn't get blood to my limbs and oxygen to my brain. And then they would hurt after, and like, my lady, she's spicy right now. But let's take a look at some of these. So the warm up, typically like, totally underplayed my warm up. Just did 2.35k in 10 minutes. It's not bad. Cause it's supposed to be a 15 minute warm up. Interval one. Two. Uh, got it. I PR'd. Oh, I can't read backwards. I PR'd my half mile, my 400 meters, and I got second on the 46th Avenue climb. I am second overall because I only had to take two seconds off. I had to take two seconds off and I took off 15. Yeah, motherfucker. Now we just gotta take off roughly 47 more. Uh, that puts me at number one for the year, number one today, number two by age. I'm the same fucking age group as the guy in first fucking place. But number one by weight. Because I weigh less than 54 kg because I probably didn't enter a weight. Okay, so that's my segment first place. Well, second place, but that's what I wanted. That was the goal. And Schman. Interval two, so I covered, so that was at a 356 pace. My next one was a 353 pace. And I covered 0.3 more kilometers. And yet, the four achievements are gray. Because I got I'm a second best kilometer, my second best half mile, my second best. I love that like second place is fucking gray and drab. And then this two minute sprint, no uh, 
No, nothing on there. It's 57 base. Like, that's not even better. I was, I was toasted. Like, that just had to be it. I was, it was done ski. So I ran a cool down, couple of K, uh, not even a couple of K, one and a half K in eight minutes. And uh, now I for sure have to Voltaren up my legs. Um, and I had one terrible cyclist. I almost wanted to fucking knock him over. Because I was sprinting. And he like arced into my path. He's like over here. And just whoop. And he's like dead on with me for a while. And he's looking confused. Until he finally decides to, to get out of my way. Fucking pansy. <coughs> oh, oh, baby. Okay, I got some recovering to do. Put a little Voltaren on the knee and a little sardines in my guts. Um, run your intervals. Shout out to my 1400s.